the arrival. It began quietly. No flashy press conferences, no grand unveilings. Just a small, heavily guarded shipment that arrived at a private airfield in Nevada under the cover of night. The manifest listed it as experimental energy hardware. But inside the reinforced crate was something far greater, the world's first self-powered turbine, created by Zimbabwean inventor Maxwell Chikumbutso. After years of secrecy, controversy, and suppression, it finally arrived on American soil. No batteries, no charging, no fuel, just a compact metallic core, small enough to fit in the trunk of a car, yet capable of powering entire cities. The hidden facility... The turbine was taken straight to Area 47, a classified energy research site located deep in the Nevada desert. Only a handful of scientists had clearance to even look at it. When the crate was opened, the team stood frozen. The device seemed almost alive, smooth, seamless, with faint blue energy pulsing under its surface like a heartbeat. Dr. Eliana Rhodes, the lead physicist, whispered, This is a human manufacturing they ran tests, magnetic, spectral, and thermal imaging. The readings didn't match any known material or design. Even its atomic structure was unclassifiable. The most shocking discovery came when they connected it to the grid simulator. Without any external input, the turbine powered the entire facility. Every monitor lit up. Every circuit stabilized. And the output remained steady, infinite, flawless, silent. Road stared at the data. Unable to breathe, it's generating energy from nothing. But she was wrong. It wasn't nothing. The connection. As the team analyzed the electromagnetic field around the turbine, they noticed something extraordinary. A strange resonance pattern forming in the air. The turbine was syncing with the Earth's natural frequency, the Schumann resonance, tapping directly into the planet's energy field. It wasn't creating power. It was harvesting it and doing so perfectly. When the discovery reached Washington, everything changed. Within 24 hours, Maxwell was flown in under diplomatic protection. He walked into the lab calmly, his trademark smile hiding years of struggle. The scientists surrounded him, demanding answers. He simply said, This is the key humanity lost centuries ago. I'm just bringing it home. The government's move. News of the U.S. testing leaked within hours. Social media exploded with speculation. Infinite energy confirmed. Maxwell's turbine arrives in America. Tesla engineers react to new power device. Meanwhile, behind closed doors, the Pentagon issued a directive. Lock it down. Total silence. No public disclosure. But it was too late. The energy readings had already caught the attention of Tesla's global sensors. Systems that detect fluctuations in large-scale electrical patterns. Within minutes, an alert landed on Elon Musk's private console at SpaceX HQ. He stared at the data stream, a pulse unlike anything he'd seen before. Infinite energy. Zero loss. Zero input. He muttered to himself, So it's real. The encounter. Two days later, under heavy security, Musk arrived at the Nevada site. The meeting was unannounced, unrecorded, and off the books. Inside the dome where the turbine rested, he stood face to face with Maxwell Chikambutso, two men, two visions of the future. Maxwell broke the silence first. You build electric cars and rockets. I built something that doesn't need either. Elon smirked, studying the humming device. If that's true, then we're looking at the end of every industry on Earth. The turbine's glow reflected in his eyes. Curiosity, admiration, and fear all at once. Maxwell replied, or the beginning of a new one, one without control, without scarcity. The test. Elon insisted on a live test. The team connected the turbine to a Tesla Model S. Battery removed. The car started instantly. No fuel. No power pack. Just pure, infinite energy flowing from the small turbine. It accelerated to 200 miles per hour, powered entirely by the device. Then it hovered slightly, the electromagnetic field so strong it partially lifted the chassis off the ground. Gas filled the room. The readings were impossible. Elon stepped forward, whispering, This changes everything. Maxwell turned to him with a quiet confidence. It already has. The deal that changed the future. 
The next morning, the Nevada desert was eerily quiet, except the faint hum of the turbine deep underground. Inside the conference chamber of Area 47, the air was thick with tension. Representatives from the U.S. Department of Energy, Tesla, and SpaceX sat across from Maxwell Chikambutso. Behind closed doors, a negotiation began that would determine the future of the planet. The government wanted control. Tesla wanted collaboration. Maxwell wanted freedom. He leaned back, calm but firm. This technology isn't for sale. It's for humanity. The Pentagon's liaison, General Marcus Hale, slammed his hand on the table. You don't understand what's at stake, Mr. Chikambutso. If this thing spreads uncontrolled, it'll collapse every global market in days. Maxwell stared at him, unfazed. Markets collapse. Humanity survives. That's the difference. For a long moment, no one spoke. Then Elon Musk, who had remained silent until now, interjected quietly. General, maybe he's right. The room turned toward him. If we try to bury this, someone else will recreate it. The question isn't how to stop it. It's how to guide it. Maxwell gave a faint smile. Finally, someone who gets it. Tesla's intervention. Within weeks, a classified joint program was launched. Project Helios, a secret collaboration between Maxwell's team and Tesla engineers. The objective, to adapt the infinite turbine for consumer and industrial use. Under strict global oversight, Tesla provided advanced manufacturing, AI simulations, and material science labs. Maxwell provided the blueprint of the turbine's quantum core. But there was one catch. The original core wasn't made of any known material. Its atomic resonance didn't match the periodic table. When scientists tried to replicate it, the prototypes either destabilized or disappeared entirely, dissolving into thin air. Dr. Rhodes, the physicist who'd first tested the device, theorized that the turbine wasn't a generator at all. It was a dimensional anchor, pulling power from a layer of reality we hadn't yet discovered. And that's when things started to get strange. The anomalies. During one of the Tesla replication tests, the lab sensors detected localized gravitational distortions. Objects around the turbine began to float. Small metal tools, pieces of wire, even droplets of coolant frozen midair. Cameras recorded micro-lightning arcs forming patterns, spirals, symbols, like the turbine was trying to communicate. When they shut it down, every nearby device crashed simultaneously. Maxwell reviewed the footage, his expression unreadable. It's waking up, he said softly. Elon frowned. Waking up? What do you mean? This isn't just a power source, Maxwell replied. It's a bridge, and we just knocked on the door. From that day forward, the project was split into two paths. Tesla continued developing stable consumer models, while Maxwell and Rhodes secretly studied the anomalies, tried to understand what, or who, was responding to the turbine signal. The signal. Three months later, the breakthrough came, not in a lab, but in orbit. SpaceX satellites monitoring the Earth's magnetic field detected a pulse identical to the turbine's resonance, but this one was coming from deep space, a matching signature billions of kilometers away. It pulsed in rhythm with the turbine on Earth. Maxwell looked at the readings in silence, then whispered, They heard us. The data shocked NASA, the Pentagon, and Tesla alike. Whatever the turbine was tapping into wasn't just energy. It was communication. Every time the turbine activated, it emitted a harmonic frequency that seemed to travel beyond known space, as if calling out, and something out there was responding. Elon, ever the visionary, stood in awe. We didn't just find infinite energy. We may have just found who built it. Maxwell turned to him, eyes glowing faintly from the reflection of the data streams. The universe has been waiting for us to ask the right question, the unveiling. Meanwhile, whispers about Project Helios began leaking online. Independent journalists and whistleblowers exposed fragments of video showing Tesla engineers working on levitating turbines, glowing with soft blue light. Hashtags like hashtag infinite energy and hashtag Project Helios began trending globally. Millions demanded answers. In response, Tesla announced a global event, the future of energy, unveiling the impossible. The entire world tuned in. As the countdown ended, Elon Musk walked onto stage. 
Behind him, under a black drape, stood the newly refined Helios Turbine, silent, elegant, and impossibly beautiful. He took a deep breath and said, Tonight, we share something that belongs to everyone, a technology that ends the era of scarcity. He pulled the cover away. The turbine activated silently, and every screen in the world flickered as power grids from Los Angeles to Tokyo stabilized in unison. The age of infinite energy had officially begun, but far beyond Earth, in the dark void of space, something pulsed back. The message from the stars. The global celebration of the Helios turbines, unveiling, lasted for days. Cities once plunged in blackout, now shimmer with endless light. Nations that once fought over oil and coal were suddenly united under a new era, an age of infinite, clean energy. But in the midst of this triumph, the strange pulse from deep space intensified. Satellites across multiple agencies began detecting repeating signals, rhythmic, intelligent, and mathematically precise. When decoded, the signal formed a geometric pattern that matched the turbine's internal structure perfectly. It wasn't random. It was a blueprint. And hidden inside that blueprint was a message. When the data was translated, the first readable words appeared on a holographic screen in Tesla's Nevada lab. Two simple phrases. Welcome back. You finally remembered. The room fell silent. Elon stared at the screen in disbelief. His voice barely a whisper. Remembered what? Maxwell didn't answer. He simply walked closer to the display, his eyes reflecting the pulsating geometry. Then he turned to Elon and said, This is an alien technology. It's ours from before. The revelation, the data buried in the signal, told a story older than civilization itself. It revealed that humanity had once possessed the same technology thousands of years ago, before a catastrophic event erased nearly all traces of it. Ancient cities powered by infinite turbines, global communication through resonance, travel beyond stars, all gone in a single cosmic blackout. The turbine was not a discovery. It was a reconnection. We've done this before, Maxwell said quietly, and we forgot. Elon leaned forward, realization dawning in his eyes. Then this, this is our second chance. Maxwell nodded. Yes, but we must use it wisely this time. Power is only infinite when it's shared. The light of tomorrow. Years later, a child in a remote village looked up at the stars, asking her mother, who gave us all this light. Her mother smiled softly. We did, my love. We just needed to remember how. The camera pans upward, past the glowing Helios networks, through the atmosphere, into the vastness of space, where billions of faint lights shimmer in rhythm with Earth's pulse. The universe watches, and for the first time in history, it hums back in harmony.